Hello and welcome to Sorted Food. Now, Mike and I have been out buying some crowdfunded gadgets and we're here to see whether or not they're worth the backing or they're severely lacking. Plenty more top quality gold like that to come. Should we get started? Okay, Baz, number one, give the cloche a lift. Kwapow! <gasps> what is, is it? I don't know. It's a bit of, it's like half a rubber slinky. Oh, hello. It's a burger buddy. What? This is the burger buddy. Hygienic, eco-friendly, mess-free, dishwasher safe, expandable, less mess, less stress, and for more than just burgers. So yeah, essentially, you stick a burger in it and it stops you getting messy. I think this is showing our age Ooh. because this is a problem that I have. And you know what? I wouldn't be averse to eating a burger in one of those if it were to work no, and I, solve I, that I, problem. I have been known to go, you know, well, it's a really messy one. I had to get sell myself a, like a little, little napkin. Or fold the paper around yeah. it, and even then it goes yeah. everywhere. If you get a particular takeaway burger, then I always have to get the, um, the box to kind of catch any like lettuce leaves or juices that fall, so I can use that as, well, to eat later or to dip my chips in. If you eat a burger and you haven't got dirty hands afterwards, have you really eaten a burger? I've got half a burger. I like to cut my burgers in half so I don't get dirty hands. Mmm. <laughs> So we've identified that it is an issue. It's an issue. I'm, 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 how has this not been invented already? Well, Baz, it's not just you and I who clearly have this issue. This has been backed by 1,045 backers on Indiegogo, raising £18,909. There clearly is a need. Question is, does it live up to the expectation? Do you want to make some burgers? I'll, I'll make it. It's a cooking show. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. Baz, in front of you is everything required to make your burger of choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna season those. Smash burgers, nice. Oh, very nice, Baz, very nice. Yes! It's self-balancing, so if you just grab it, pop it up, so there's, there's no putting the burger on another surface that might be dirty. I what they're saying. This is just reinventing the napkin. It's even more specific. Yeah. For circular objects, I guess. So it's not just for burgers. They claim it can be used on donuts, bagels, etc. So the team behind the Burger Buddy are Ismail and Mohammed, the co-founders. It's eco-friendly because the Burger Buddy saves you from using excessive napkins. On average, two to three paper napkins per burger, which saves you money and saves the planet. That is a touch. Adaptive design, easy for children, the elderly, and people with disabilities such as arthritis, Parkinson's, or any type of ailment that may keep them from holding food steady. Yeah, I kind of guess that's a thing as well. That does make sense. Oh, lovely. Every good burger has a name. It's Barry's Banger. Barry's Banger, nice. Barry's Banging Burger Buddy. Barry's Banger brought to you by the Burger Buddy. Well, I'm excited. Then. Oh, whoa. Okay. I mean, we have to use it within reason. Oh my goodness, it might just work. Like we're pushing I mean, it. You're pushing, I mean, the whole point of this is to push these gadgets to their limits, and I feel you really are. Oh, look at that! Yes! Right, that does it do Cheers. what it's supposed to do, which is stop the mess. Is it a good burger? It's a, well, firstly, I didn't realise what a good burger I could make. Um, secondly, it's a completely different burger experience. And it's one that makes so much sense. It's what you try to do every time you eat a burger. But you know, but you know, you know full well that you're going into it, you're fighting a losing battle. Yeah, it's going to go everywhere. Especially like if you bought it from, you know, like a food market or street food or whatever. Chances are you're going to have to stand up eating that thing. So actually, I just, it's, a, it's great, isn't it? I've made it a bold works. burger there, a ridiculous burger. They're fat patties with loads of sauce. Oh, look at me, I'm spotless. So are we saying it works? I mean, I know this is, we're meant to be reviewing it, but now I just feel like we're advertising I've, for this. Same, I feel like this is a hashtag ad, because I love the Burger Buddy so much. Comes in a range of colors. You've got premium gray. <laughs> it's also available in ocean blue, sunset orange, or majestic pink. And this was a two pack. Okay, good. So a twin pack. It wouldn't be Burger Buddies without a buddy, would it? I had mine here, just waiting for, for, my, for my, my burger. I've got, I've got half a bun to give you, mate. Well, I tell you what, why don't we clear this down, 
get you sitting down and we'll talk about price. Still enjoying that? It's, it's, it's not only satisfying to eat, it's satisfying to like have control over what I'm doing as well. Do you want to know how much we paid for the twin pack Indiegogo special? I do. And I, I'm going to say that, that is a bloody good burger. Just, <laughs> I'm going to say that it would have cost you just, I'm just shy of a tenner for two. Six pounds for two. That is 25% off the RRP, so they're eight quid normally for two. Four pounds, fits easily into a pocket. Constantina's right up, put it in a bag. Anytime there's a burger on the street, bow! <laughs> Part of me goes like, spending that much on an item you'll only ever use for one type of food seems ridiculous. But at the same time, like, I've bought nice glassware to suit certain drinks. Why not? Because there's nothing else out there that works like that. No. You know, you go into these videos and you're like, right, gadgets, crowdfunded gadgets. You're thinking like really high tech, like digital, yeah. all sorts of really insane stuff. And we've been wowed by a bit of plastic that holds a burger. Okay, Baz, the burger buddy. BFFs or FFS? BFFs forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Strong start. Right. Do you reckon we can keep this up? No, absolutely. Please, slosh it. <laughs> it looks like a screwdriver. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, oh. Okay, instantly. Final press. What the? Come on. You can remove the black thing off the bottom if you want. Oh. Okay. Spring loaded. Uh, like a. Is it like a mini. Like a mini French press. Like a, it's like a mini cafetiere, isn't it? This is the final press. A new way to brew perfect coffee and tea. Press the plunger to brew your coffee anywhere. So final press directly brews coffee or tea in your mug to eliminate any mess. You can be your own barista anywhere. It doesn't require professional barista equipment, specialty brewing equipment or messy cleanups. Simply add ground coffee or tea in the final press, stir, wait, then press the plunger, and it's as simple as that. I mean, I assume it's for on the go, so you have to carry around your, your ground coffee with you as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know, no, the camping, traveling, like, yeah, yeah, no, shut your face, Mike, and be open-minded. After a terrible night's sleep, there's only two things on people's mind. Number one, coffee. Number two, breakfast. I've used a very similar product in the past, which is simply just a thing like that, which you put your tea or coffee in and stir. The bit that makes this different is the press at the top and their patent pending funnel press mechanism um, means you control the brewing process from start to finish. Stir for 10 to 30 seconds, dependent on the strength that you prefer. And then by pushing the plunger a few times, you can then release the rest of the flavor into the coffee. Fine, great, let's try it. I want to see if it works. All right, Basil, where do I start? If you unscrew um, the bottom. I see. Half fill it with your ground coffee. Okay. Save some for Ron. Um, then screw the lid back on. Screw the lid back on. Yep. Fill your glass or mug with the required amount of water. And then, insert your funnel press, stir it for 10 seconds, and then leave it for four minutes. Yeah, do you know what? Where I can see this being useful is when you go away and you're staying at a hotel or like an Airbnb and you do only want one coffee. You don't want to put it in a big French press. You don't want to take your French press because you also don't want like four cups of coffee left in there. Mm -hmm. You want one and then you're out. Mm -hmm. So this could be useful for that. Okay, Genuinely. interesting. 9,898 people backed this 9, on 000. Indiegogo um, and they raised over 470,000 pounds. Okay. It's popular. Well done, final press. It's, po it's popular. Up oh, four minutes. Right, so let's see if it works. <laughs> so now I just plunge it. So you can plunge it a couple of times to release the rest of the flavor. You can kind of, you should see it bellow out. Yeah, it's yeah. changing color. Yeah, what push your color and then basically one more time out. Lift it out. It's really hot. Why have you, you, I know why you're giving me the glass so that the audience yeah. can see it, but I can't drink it now. Do you want a straw? No. <laughs> I want a burger buddy so I can hold it. So many uses. 
as if I couldn't love this thing anymore. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Still gonna burn my mouth, but let's see if it makes good coffee. One other thing that you can do this is it's very good, easy to make a, a cold brew. With the kit, it comes with a lid that you can seal over a kilner jar and leave in the fridge. You just put the coffee grounds in there. Oh, and just leave it soaking? Into, into there, soak it overnight with the lid on. Um, and then press the next morning when it's ready. Cool, I like it, I like it. But how much do you think it's worth? I would pay 30 pounds for it. If you'd got the early bird, then that would have been 39 pounds. Okay. Um, if you'd missed the early bird chance, then it would have been 62 pounds. Yeah, 62 pounds feels a little bit steep for me. However, it's all about justification and how often you're gonna use it. Because if you're willing to part with 62 pounds, I could say, with quite a lot of confidence, it works. So Michael, for the final press, are you impressed or is it the final straw? I have to say I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Get in there. I mean, this is a duo. <laughs> Last one, Baz, let's end strong. We've had two crackers, lift the cloche. Shame. <laughs> That's not new, mate. Wait, I hope that this meek and humble object will blow our minds. So from what I can tell, it's, it's a spoon with a little bit of metal in the scoop. A little, is it a light? Is that a light next to the edge? And another metal bit on the bottom. It's weighty towards this end, which implies there's a battery in it. Okay. Otherwise, from what I can tell, that is a, that is a plastic spoon, Michael. Is this spoon electrocharging my food. This is Spoon Tech, the spoon that elevates taste. Ball You are such a narrow-minded <laughs> swine. Come on. It's a, it's a spoon, mate. Spoon Tech excites the taste buds for enhanced flavour, heightened taste and improved aftertaste. The built-in iron sensory technology mildly excites the taste buds on your tongue like they've never been stimulated before. Oh, I don't like it. The immediate results are enhanced flavour, heightened taste, and improved aftertaste. That's not a thing. How is it not a thing? It can't be a thing. People who said the world was round wasn't a thing when everyone thought it was yeah. flat. But is it though? The internet wasn't a thing <laughs> in the 70s. I'm disappointed what? in you. No. We, had, we bonded so much yeah, but this, the this, bunny, this, and now this, you've just thrown this it all away. This hasn't been rustled up by a couple of schoolmates who run a YouTube channel in East London. Okay. This is from experts, a father and son duo who have been working in the food industry since 1999. These are industry professionals, so I don't think they're gonna put their name to something put. Let's do a fair scientific test. So, see if there's any difference. What we're looking for is difference in flavor, taste, aftertaste, and the eating experience. So let's start with yogurt. Okay. Sour. Creamy. Got it. Logged. Make contact with the silver acti strip on the bottom of the handle. And on the inside of the spoon bowl, there's a small silver colored emitter. Make sure your food completely covers the emitter. As you eat, the LED light will light up to indicate the technology is activated. Go for it. Whatever it is, it's terribly subtle. So I'm just double checking it's not placebo. I mean, I was kind of just being positive, but. So natural yogurt, there is a natural sourness to it. I don't know how, why, but it tastes less sour with this spoon. I'm not gonna sit here and go, oh my goodness, the difference is incredible, but it's more palatable. Like, I find myself going, I could eat a lot more of that with this spoon than I could on that spoon. Right, move, move on. Right, what's this one? It's, it's a broth with galangal soy, peanut. I mean, it sounds absolutely delicious. Nice zing, refreshing zing to it. You can see it's lighting up. Exactly the same thing. It feels like when it's electrified, it's opening the, 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 the thing up and the atoms are separating. This is not science. The atoms. atoms. You've, atoms. Se you've yeah, split I've, the atoms. It splits the atoms. It splits the atom and 
leaves room for flavour to escape and mingle. That is kind of what the sensation is, but flavour-wise, it only increases by probably 0.5 or 1%. Okay. Like, it's minimal. Really interesting one. Let's talk price. How much do you think we paid for one of those? £12, which is a lot for a spoon, a plastic spoon. We paid £21, and that was with a 67% RRP. Mm. Weirdly, you're not paying for a spoon, you're paying to be part of an experiment. Like, the science must be proven for them to either enter this realm. But it's just the fact that when they execute it, and it comes down to it, it's a, it's a plastic spoon. If what they're getting at is true, and by electrocuting your food, you can release more flavour, then whack some more volts through it. And let's, <laughs> and let's try that. So, my question to you is, the spoon tech, a flavour sensation, or a spoonful of frustration? And you know what, that's cock on. It's a spoonful of frustration, because I want it to be good. It's just not quite there. You got a car battery handy? Yeah. Plug it in. Sure. <laughs> well, over to you guys. What did you think of those products? Would you have backed them? Comment down below, let us know. Also remember to give the video a like and continue to comment and suggest any future crowdfunded gadgets that you see that you would like us to put to a rigorous scientific experiment. Thank you for watching. We have an app. It's called Meal Packs and helps you plan and then cook a week's worth of meals using one set of ingredients, saving you money, cutting down on food waste and answering the age-old question, what should we have for dinner? It's free to try for a whole month. The link is in the description box below. Baz, in front of you is everything required to make your burger of choice. Any burger. You've got Agadine. Agadine. Agadoo-doo. Agadoo-doo-dee. <laughs>